What is a landing page and can I create my own? Are you wondering what your website must be lacking when the design, the content, and everything that has to be there is present but still your sales don't increase? Are you so desperate to turn your visitors into potential leads? Luckily for you, Laptop Lifestyler, we've got the solution to your problem. In this video, we'll be discussing what is a landing page and how you can create your own. But remember, while the first step is completing this amazing video, the second and possibly more important step is taking action even if it's imperfect action. On the homepage, there are dozens of links that could potentially distract visitors. However, on the landing page, there's only one link leading to, you guessed it, the call to action. Experts use a dedicated landing page as the destination of their traffic to increase conversions. It's necessary to know what landing pages are and how they work in order to create a relationship with potential customers. A necessary first step in this process is converting visitors into leads, which can be accomplished with the help of this video. What is a landing page? A landing page is a non-sponsored page on your website that converts visitors into leads. It's different from other pages on your website in that it meets both criteria. Number one, a form that allows you to capture a visitor's information in return for an offer. Number two, landing pages are created in order to collect leads, not a homepage that serves additional purposes. The purpose of a landing page is to have a web page with a form on it, but no other distractions. It's important to remember that a landing page is any page on your website without any navigation and using a form to convert visitors into leads. So, how do landing pages work? Number 1. On a landing page, a call to action directs users towards a form. Number 2. Users fill out a form which converts them from a visitor into your potential leads. Number 3. If a lead fills out the required fields, they get added to your leads database. Number 4. You market to the contact or lead based on what you learned about them. With a nurtured lead, you can show the ROI of your marketing efforts and keep your sales team happy. The lead offers far more chances to convert into a profitable customer than any form of lead generation. Using the lead conversion data, software like HubSpot or Marketo will help you tailor your marketing to reach out to leads more effectively. Through this, the software can tell you what offer led the lead to convert and what other interactions they've had on your site. This information will help you better understand how to speak leads and nurture them in a way that is most effective for you as a business. While the landing page is the main component of the online conversion process, there are multiple assets that work together to nurture conversions. Call to Action or CTAs A CTA is a type of image or text that prompts your visitor to take an action during their visit. On landing pages, CTAs tell the visitor where they should click to access what you offer. With CTAs on your website and blog post, it's possible that someone will convert just by seeing them. The more they resemble what they're promoting in their offer, the more likely they are able to be convinced to convert. Thank you page. The landing page is where a visitor fills out the form to access the offer. As mentioned previously, its only purpose is to summarize the benefits of the offer in a way that encourages visitors to convert into leads. Once the form is submitted, visitors should be redirected to a thank you page. After learning about the landing page and how it works, let's now proceed to how to create one. To create a landing page that drives conversions, follow best practices building it and refine it based on the testing and feedback from your inbound marketing efforts. First, think of a compelling headline. It's important to create a catchy headline that will grab the reader's attention from the first sentence and entice them to read on. The landing page, which is often one of the most important pages on your website, needs a good hook in order to draw people in. Second, convey the value of your offer effectively. Recognizing your offer's value and conveying it effectively is crucial for a landing page to survive and convert. Have you ever heard about the blink test? The blink test means that you need to convey your message and remind your visitors of the benefits before they blink, which means you have 3 to 5 seconds. If you don't do this successfully, they risk pulling out without converting. It typically only takes one blink to decide if they want to stay or not. Third, make bullet points. Traditional landing pages have a lot of generic information that can be difficult to keep 100% relevant and engaging. 
by coming up with a short summary of the offer, you can now leave yourself room to list out bullet points of what will be covered in the materials as you progress through your landing page. This way, your reader can keep up with what they're reading while also being able to preview what's coming next, which entices them to convert. Fourth, use click funnels, Insta page, and lead pages. All of these use data and AI to generate landing pages that convert the best. They're not making this up by saying that one looks better than the other. They're using data and using the same process of analyzing past conversion rates for the best performing landing page. You should start by choosing one of these top performing landing pages first. Fifth, create a video. People don't always want to read. Some people want to look at pictures, but a picture won't convert the masses. You need a call to action video to show what your product delivers rather than trying to explain it in words. It should be short, under 3 minutes, with time spent on deconstructing objections before creating a solid customer base. It should have your brand promoting it from start to finish and explain everything in a logical order. People may consume less of your content, but the quality of that customer base tends to offer more over their lifetime sales value. So you have to test video marketing strategies such as SEO and response rate data analytics. 6. Make a form When designing your landing page, be mindful of how many forms you should include. The number of fields you have should correlate with the stage of buyer's journey. Typically, for an awareness piece, you'd want to keep the forms brief and get basic information such as name and email address. With each step down the funnel, the number of form fields should increase. Once a person is at the decision stage, you'll want to get more information from them in order to help the salesperson understand them better so they're able to close the sale. Seventh, give clear instructions. On a landing page, you should emphasize the form near the end of your copy. Making sure that visitors know that it's their turn to fill out the form makes them more likely to convert. You can make this clear on your landing page with anything, like saying something like, to access the ebook, please fill out the form to the right. But for you to build an effective landing page, you need to find out all the information needed by conducting your research beforehand. Be sure to have the following information on hand before you start writing your landing page. Your buyer's personas. Your buyer personas are semi-fictional representations of your ideal customers. They are based on market research and current customer data, giving you insights into what your customers value and how they think that enables you to create lots of valuable content for them. When you create your landing page, it's important to have one target persona in mind. When you're trying to appeal to more than one personas, the message will be diluted and you will lose out on conversion. It's better to be niche and focused on your bids for clicks. Your offer. The offer is used to provide value to the buyer and entice them towards choosing a particular product. It could be a free ebook, webinar, tip sheet, comparison guide, or anything else that would give an insight into your buyer's needs and engage them further during different stages of their buyer's journey. Your buyer's journey. With the buyer's journey, you can use behavioral research to understand different types of content that leads potential buyers to a purchase. The journey includes three stages, awareness, consideration, and decision. So, the most effective marketing strategies produce content that addresses these stages. Awareness stage. A visitor will express symptoms of a potential problem or opportunity but might be unable to define what that problem is. A person in this stage is doing a lot of research to understand their symptoms and the reason for them. Pieces of content that people in this stage could be interested in include ebooks, white papers, and guides. Consideration stage. In this next stage of the buyer's journey, Prospects are now at a point where they have a fairly clear idea of their problem or opportunity. With videos, white papers, and webinars, you can provide value by solving a prospect's problem or revealing more about their opportunity. Decision Stage At the intent stage of the funnel, prospects know their solution strategy and approach. They are trying to decide on vendors and now have narrowed it down to a select few when they sit back and consider their requirements. Providing them with case studies, demos, and product information at this stage would be wise. To build an effective landing page, another thing we need to know is the best apps used to create them. We've created the list for you to choose from. Number 1. Card Card is one of the best landing page builders out there. It provides awesome features for free and even lets you build a web page on its own without an account. Just head to the website and find one of the themes. 
card allows you to save or publish your site at any time, so sign up when you're ready. Card is easy to get started with. The editing tools are simple to use. Click an image block and a sidebar opens where you can upload a new image or add alt text or a link. Editing text is confusing because you can't edit it in inline mode. Again, you click the text, then edit it in the sidebar, but it does support markdown formatting for creating custom content. Cards themes offer features that allow you to move items up or down. While it limits your options, it puts all of your content in line. You can also add more text or videos from the plus menu on the top of the page and create a multi-column layout if you want to mix content together. Number 2. ConvertKit Web ConvertKit is your best option if you're looking to launch a landing page to promote an email newsletter. It has been designed for authors, bloggers, YouTubers, and other creatives who have monetized their work before. It would work well for anyone else too who wants to build an email list. To start, navigate to the landing page and form section. Create new and then start with one of over 50 templates. After adding content, you may want to adjust aspects like the countdown timer or a feed of tweets. To publish your page on a domain of your choice, click the publish button in the upper left hand corner. Number 3. Kickoff Labs Web When giving people incentives to sign up for an email list, one of the best ways is with a contest. This is where Kickoff Labs come into play. Kickoff Labs has more features than other tools in this list. Kickoff Labs isn't designed for instantiating a simple landing page. Instead, you'll start by selecting the type of campaign that best matches your goal. Whether it's to sign people up to a pre-launch waitlist or offering bonus entries for signing up more. Next, you pick how to gather leads. You can make a pop-up or form for an existing site, but here, you'll likely want to make a landing page. You also have the option as to whether you want to run the competition on one page or have multiple pages, pop-up and landing. There are different text templates and different designs in Kickoff Labs. You can add an image or video, logo or file download. You can also edit the text on the page directly by hovering your mouse over boundaries or clicking the plus button beside text boxes to insert promotional materials. Once you design the page and publish it, the source code will be available if you want to host your work with Kickoff Labs or build codes that are compatible with other tools to make them work with your website. Number 4. Unbounce the Landing Page Builder Builder is a tool that is best used for digital entrepreneurs and other people whose business is mostly done online. Unbounce, unlike the Landing Page Builder, is more geared towards physical business owners like dentists, lawyers, and plumbers. If you're not making money off of your leads, Unbounce may be too expensive. The platform has plans starting at $80 per month and scaling up to 20,000 unique visitors with 500 conversion levels and each plan's limits are displayed at the top of the screen upon sign-in. Alternatively, you can build your landing pages with the drag-and-drop classic builder or the new AI-powered smart builder, though it's still technically in beta. The classic editor has plenty of features too. You can choose from templates offering dozens of sections to make all the heavy lifting. For instance, restaurant, dentist, and travel conveniently available. Not only that, but the tool has industry-specific templates for lots of different small businesses. The problem with many other apps is where you place your content is totally up to you rather than a pre-made template. The Smart Builder is much more than just a layout generator. It generates a campaign specifically for your needs. It uses machine learning to suggest headlines and recommendations for your content based on what you expect. The advanced copy generating feature also seems to work well, so you have no choice but to try it. However, you won't be able to run the Smart Builder without some slight bugs getting in the way. The Classic Builder is still the safer option now and probably always will be due to its widespread use and lower risk of bugs arising. That's it for this video, Laptop Lifestyler. Remember to subscribe to our channel and if you feel like we've delivered value, please share this video with one person. That's right, just one person as a token of your appreciation for the hard work we put into making content that educates and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. Remember, you can watch video after video, but it isn't until you actually take action that you'll start to see results. See you soon!